Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Cody and in the last exciting episode we went on quite an adventure into the middle of nowhere uh, and I accidentally dropped all of my precious lily pads into the ocean so we're just going on a deep sea dive to collect them. So in the last episode we wound up on a tiny island um, in the middle of nowhere and in between episodes I I renovated a little bit. This is the tiny islands with the one tree. Now it's tiny islands with the one tree and a bunch of flowers um, and a small house with uh, with a crafting table and a chest. So you know we're st we're just making our mark all over the world at the moment. We're collecting a couple of new things from each area. Uh, namely, I have a bunch of lily pads now as well as some clay that I found on a nearby island when I was getting wood for this. So this location is at around negative 100 on the x-axis and then about 15, 1536 on the uh, z-axis or the z-axis as people from Australia would want me to say but I don't know I just say z because because I watched Sesame Street 2. So what we're going to do now is we're going to continue exploring this episode. Uh, we're just going to continue looking around. There's apparently some cool underwater stuff that we haven't seen before. Um, as well as, you know, villages and that kind of thing we're looking for. And just over here, look at this. Do you see that? Meanwhile, we're, uh, I'm not sure if we're collecting these lily pads, but we're sure destroying them. Do you see a mushroom as well as a ton of pigs? Uh, all right, let's stop off on Pig Island. Uh, we needed some more food anyway, so let's uh, kill all of the pigs. It's not like we can bring them back with us. That would be an absolute pain to try and bring back all these pigs with us from Pig Island and look at this tree seems like the either like four trees grew there or that's quite a tree um, that's currently growing so let's see our boat's still there right yeah our boat's still docked here on Pig Island um, but we've got a bunch of new exciting things uh, I forget if yeah I, I think you can just mine it with your hands um, and what we should be able to get from this uh, it doesn't drop from all of them but it should be dropping from from the occasional one at least I don't, I don't know I, I feel like something should be dropping from here I feel like I should be getting more out of this than oh here it is and we're going to get some mushrooms of both kinds this is the uh this is the regular mushroom and over there there was also a spotted mushroom and if we combine them together uh, like we can plant a bunch of them around the place combine them together and uh, we're going to be able to get some food um, we'll be able to take these mushrooms back with us to our base um, and yeah we'll be, we'll be able to sort of plant a bunch of them uh, and we'll be able to use them yeah, we'll be able to use them for food. Oh, this one's dropping much more readily. Look at that. Uh, we'll be able to use them for food, which will be very helpful because I think you can make like bowls of soup and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I think it might also have some something useful in the sort of world of enchanting as well. Um, but I am not sure. Over there, something is burning because look, it's always been burning uh, since the world's been turning. Apparently, that's what I heard. Um, because look, it's not my fault. I didn't start it. I didn't start that fire. I've started a lot of fires though, to be honest. I'm somewhat famous for starting Minecraft fires, but uh, in this case the world that the world that, that I created um, had a few custom settings, like I just tweaked a few of the things for like what's the probability of this or that appearing? 
Uh, and I made lava lakes as common as they could possibly be, just surface lava lakes. So there keeps being lava lakes that whenever we get near it, it starts burning all the trees around it. Look at these trees. I mean, there's, there's a, a bunch of new biome stuff here that we just haven't seen yet. Uh, and that is really cool. All right, so... We're gonna we're gonna dub this Pig Island, I suppose, because when we first went there, there were a bunch of pigs. I haven't seen any pigs since, but it's Pig Island now, um, so too bad. Uh, I suppose we should also collect. Here, let's uh, let's get into this dark oak wood. Seems like this dark oak wood grows some sort of mega tree. Like, I'm not sure if this is an accident, if this was like nine trees all grew up together, or if this is regular for dark oak. But we want, we want this tree. Um, it seems like dark oak will be good decoration for our house. Um, so what we'll do is, we'll collect all of this oak. I need, I need more, I need more in the way of raw wood materials anyway. What was that? And now that I have uh, collected that wood, a bunch of a bunch of this should start disappearing on its own. But it's hard to tell because there's so many trees all here around each other. All I need is some saplings from these uh, branches. I don't think I've got any saplings yet. So we're going to hit it with a pork chop until we get a uh -huh, dark oak sapling. This should be very helpful. If these trees grow anything like uh, the way they're growing here. Uh, oh! never dig directly down but we got we got a couple of dark oak saplings so that's definitely that's definitely a treasure for our adventure we can uh, with just one we'll be able to grow it we'll be able to uh, make it uh, you know make one and then and then harvest more from it so we should be all set now uh, let's continue looking around this around pig island a little bit more because before it completely burns up like the entire island because look it's this island's not having a good time clearly right now it's just not having the greatest it's not having the greatest of times okay now I've collected a little bit from I've collected a bunch of bunch of raw pork chops I've collected uh, two types of mushroom and I've got some dark oak saplings um, so that's a pretty good hole uh, so now I need to travel around this island again and remember where I, I'm trying to remember where I left my boat oh yeah by the way coordinates uh, about minus 300 and uh, and 1400 on the z-axis I need to remember to do that every memorable island I encounter so that we can map this out so that at any point, you know, uh, when I like release the map and all that kind of thing, people can go to all these different places and they can like build, you know, structures on it and all this cool kind of stuff. Um, where did I leave my boat? Boat? I, I completely, look, I went through somewhere in this forest and then... And then I don't remember which direction I was facing. Like it's not. I, I well, I know I've been here because I sheared I sheared off a large part of this uh, mushroom in an unnatural-looking way, which is always a good sign. Let's do that a bit more. Let's just let's just leave random holes in this mushroom. There we go. Botikins, botikins, wherever a botikins goes. I could just make a new boat, but like, I kind of want to resume from where I was so that I remember where I was. Uh, we've not got much time left. Uh, I tend to go by sunlight hours because I haven't encountered any sheep, so I can't make a bed, so I have to sort of just wait around for 10 minutes uh, if I want it to be light again, uh, which is not ideal. But there's uh, I think that's a different biome all on its own. This looks familiar, I think. 
we might have gone like all the way around the island except in the wrong direction the boat was probably like directly behind us and then we just went around the other way because I think this is the the red mushroom that we initially saw there it is and there's the boat all right so pig island was a success um, I've been running out of baked potatoes so um, these pork chops once I cook them should be very good for us so I'm gonna see you guys next time as we explore and find another biome and take some more cool stuff from it hopefully